Hey guys, we're gonna do something a little different today. I got my dad Brian here who's gonna show us how to make some awesome lobster ceviche. Today's um, October 31st, Halloween 2015, and guess what? We got a lobster crawl today. We went out uh, this morning at 9.30. We were done by 10.30, 18 lobsters later. Three limits in under an hour. Now we're gonna show you what it takes to turn this all into fresh ceviche. The way my recipe works, I take one lemon, I mean one lime for every lobster. So I'm gonna cook, even though I have 18, I'm gonna prepare 14 lobsters today. So I've got 14 limes, and then I use half as many lemons. So I've got seven lemons, I use two oranges, about three tomatoes depending on their size. I picked out a really nice big red onion. Some cilantro. Definitely don't use this much cilantro. Um, this is really has a strong flavor and if you did that you would ruin your ceviche. You want to use about in a big batch like this you know with 14 lobsters you can get away with about uh, about half of this batch so you got to be careful not to use too much of that we're going to use one cucumber a beautiful red pepper for color a beautiful orange pepper for color a tasty yellow pepper a green pepper all these colors add to this beautiful recipe um, we're, we're going to use some um, some celery this is a really important ingredient this is about two ounces of salt. I'm going to use this entire amount of salt in my batch. If you were to use normal salt, this would, would turn it out to be way too salty. But this is amazing salt. If you ever use this, you, when you put it on your recipe, it just melts in. It's really, really nice salt, and I think it's a super important ingredient to use this salt. Okay, I have my water boiling already, so I'm going to take my pot of lobsters over to the stove. I'm not going to thoroughly cook my lobsters. I'm just parboiling them for about two minutes. You can see the outer edges are already lightly cooked, but I want it, you know, it stopped boiling when I put them in there. So I'm just going to leave them in there for about two minutes and it's just going to lightly start to cook my lobsters and that's also important because what I'm going to show you in a minute well I'm going to show it to you right now I'm going to pull one of these out already it's only been in for about a minute now what I do is I butterfly this lobster and then you peel it open and because we parboiled it look at that right out of the shell see that's what I wanted. I wanted this to come out of the shell easy. I'm going to start by taking off this pure white, we call this the head meat. This is the meat that when we ripped the tail off it came out of the head of the lobster. It's all pure white. We're going to separate that from the lobster. Then we're going to take this and if any of you are familiar with skinning a fish, this process is similar to skinning a fish except there's nothing flat about a lobster so it's difficult and you will waste some meat some people have a hard time with that but we catch quite a few lobsters in this house and we don't really we don't really waste this stuff either because um, we have a bait pen in the backyard full of either goggle eyes or pilchards whatever the season may be and our bait fish, they eat good. They love lobster. So we're not gonna throw this away. We're gonna feed that to our bait fish. Now, look at this lobster. What we're gonna do, cut it up into nice little, nice little pieces. This, this is a good size for your ceviche recipe. Look, look, what I took off of there is like, is like rubber. Look at this. You know, it's, it's just tough. 
And some people don't like Florida lobster, and that's the reason. Because I've cooked a lot of Florida lobster in my day, and you know, if you serve a table of six or eight people, all the same lobster, caught the same day, cooked the same way, somebody winds up with a super tough one. And that's because lobsters molt. And when they're in their molting stage, if they're just ready to shed their shell, that, that skin that I'm removing can be, can be really on the tough side. So I start out, I got a nice juicer here. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna do just the limes on the lobster first so as to not dilute the cooking capability of these limes on all my vegetables. So now we've put the uh, 14 limes in there and you can see the, the water, the juice isn't all the way up yet. It's about halfway. So now we're going to add our seven lemons. Now, I'm going to add a couple of oranges for flavor as well as to get my juice level higher. We're also going to add a little Tabasco. Um, I wouldn't put too much because um, not everybody likes it too spicy. So anybody that likes it real spicy can add a little to theirs. But I start out, I put about, I try and put about one drop per lobster. So this is 18 lobsters. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's probably enough. We're gonna do one more mix of all this pepper and, this is and Tabasco, lemon, lime, orange juice. Just mix it all up in there. All right, now our secret to our recipe is really small, fine cut pieces of our vegetables and things. So this is celery. Nice and finely cut. Now for yellow pepper. Orange pepper. Onion. Alrighty, red pepper. Green pepper. Tomatoes. Can I say tomatoes? Don't forget, nice and small chopped. Scallions. Cucumbers. And last but not least, cilantro. Nicely, finely diced. Look at that bowl. Okay, we had to get out the bigger pot because this batch is so big. So now I'm gonna mix it together. This has been set and cooking in lemon, lime, and orange juice, a little Tabasco, salt and pepper. Now we're gonna take all our beautiful, look at that, look at that. Look at the colors in that stuff. It's so beautiful. And it smells good, all that freshly cut vegetables. Now I'm gonna take the lobster, 18 lobsters, and we're gonna dump that in there. Once I got a big pot, I can, oh, the aroma of this stuff. I'm ready to dig into it right now. I know I'm not gonna wait very long to start eating this. This stuff is probably prime in about 24 hours. I'm seeing that I'm a little bit shy of juice. See, if I push hard, the juice comes to the top, but I don't wanna to have to push that hard. So I have some extra oranges. I'm gonna put another couple oranges in there. Here's the juice from to um, pour more oranges. See, that's what you want. You want the juice to be right to the top. That's perfect. This is the rewards of our Halloween lobster dive today. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you wanna see more recipes, more action, more videos, please like the video. Comment below any questions you guys have, we'll answer them. Anything about the recipe, 
Any ideas for videos, we'll take them. And don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.